Okay, so here we are. Um, I just finished setting it up. The water is in, the rock is in, the sand is in. Measured the salt to the water. I put the power head on, the filter is going, the heater is going. I'm going to let this settle and once it clears up, I'll need to go to the fish store and get either a damsel or some seed rock. Um, let me show you what I've done so far. It's kind of cloudy now because again I just finished adding all the water and the salt and stuff. I mixed, I ended up going with straight tap water bean that I'm not going to be adding corals for about six or so months. I figured that by the time that comes um, with the water changes, once I start doing water changes I might get bottled water, I might get an RODI system by then. But for now, since I'm only going to do fish for about six months or two year, it's just going to be one or two fish in there. Um, I, I just put in tap water. I put in some dechlorinator in it, some conditioner, and uh, we'll see how that works out. So my plan is to cycle this month, uh, cycle this tank for maybe two months, maybe a month or two before I, I, I even decide to put anything on there. So let's see what I got. I got um, the right now the light fixture has all four bulbs going that's why it's kind of bright that's the one thing I noticed that um, much to my chagrin I mean it is really bright that tank is really really bright a lot brighter than my freshwater aquarium as a matter of fact that might bother me a little bit because um, uh, you know, this is a den area so this is the, the basement in my house um, this is where I come to watch TV I have my this is dark and my couch there and my TV and stuff um, but it is really really bright the other tank didn't bother me as much the light was was a lot dimmer um, hmm this is gonna be something I need to keep track of and I guess you guys that are starting out like me have to be aware that if you do get these lights they're really bright they light up the whole room um, because in the old tank, the light fixture would just lean up against that glass thing. So there was no leakage from underneath like it is now. Um, here's the pump. It is, I guess it's on its basic mode, just mixing up the salt and the water even more. E even though I mix the salt in the water in buckets before I put the buckets of water in the tank, um, I put on this power head just so that I could keep mixing. At some point, maybe tonight, I'll turn everything off and then just let the, the tank settle for a few days and see if the water clears up a little bit. Um, here is the protein skimmer working. As a matter of fact, the dang thing is already skimming. Uh, I was told I needed days to break this in, but it seems to be working. Uh, it's creating bubbles in there. I don't know if you could see. There's the motor. It's nice and bubbly in there. I had to play around with it to adjust it um, to get it to go, but it looks like it's working now. Here's the other side. Now, one of the things that I wanted to mention is that you see this? Where is that down there? That's supposed to be flush. This pad and this little grate, it's supposed to be flush with that thing, and it didn't come that way, and I had to get in there with a, uh, a long stick and pull everything out and push everything back in it wasn't right as a matter of fact the water looks like it's pushing it up again uh, I'm not liking that but it is what it is uh, again the water is cloudy I'm expecting it to be cloudy I'm expecting it to be this way for a few days if not more so far, I think I've done everything that I need to do. Now, the only thing that remains is to seed the tank, whether, we're going, whether it's going to be with a damsel, with a dead piece of shrimp, um, maybe a piece of live rock. I, I went to the fish store the other day and I saw this nice piece of rock with some nice coralline algae on it. I'm thinking of going back and just getting that piece and putting it in the tank. And, and that's how I'm going to start the cycle on here. So, so far so good. My only, my only complaint so far, if there's any complaints, is that 
the light is really, really bright. It really lights up this room down here. This room is um, 13 by 18. It's a den. It's a 7 foot height ceilings. I got some hi-hats. Um, this light fixture, it's 4 bulbs, 4 high output T5 bulbs. It really brightens up the room. Um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn off. This is with the actinic bulbs. A lot better. The tech looks more purple than it does in the in on the camera. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm going to adjust the white balance on the camera to see if I can get it to match more closely to what I'm seeing in the tank. Hold on. Uh, never mind. I'm not going to mess around with the white balance. I'd have to set a custom white balance and. I don't want to do that right now. On the screen right now, I could see that it's blue, but in the tank, it's more purple, like I've I've heard on the internet. So that's the two blue atinics. I'll turn those off. And um, here's the tank. Here's the tank turned off. As you can see, it's starting to clear up already. This is my rock setup. Not bad. I think I like it. Um, on the bottom here, I have the power head. Right now, this is just set to basic, about three quarter power. Um, I have the stuff plug here. I, I need to get a piece of Velcro to take that plug and Velcro it up so I can create that uh, drip loop. I'll probably do that after this is done. There's the power adapter for. The power head. It's a lot more empty in here. And I used to have the fluval canister filter, um, and that took up a lot of space. And now what I'm thinking of doing just setting up a shelf or two, um, custom building a shelf so that I could put my little doodads in there, like the testers and the feeders and whatnot. But anyway, there it is. There's the tank, salt water converted from fresh water. Uh, 36 bow front used to be a fresh water tank now it's going to be salt water uh, fish with live rock at first and then about a year later I will be adding corals I'm going to be giving some updates um, in a couple of weeks once the tank cycles and uh, I'll give you some of the results of my testing see ya